and good day. Today we're looking at a gold camel. Well, you can't see it because there's a box there. World's fastest unboxing coming up right now. There it goes. We have, yes, a gold camel. As you can see, right there. Gold camel. 3D filament for my printer. This has come in from Gearbest. And uh, I haven't opened the box yet, so we'll have a bit of a look at it. Now, it gives a list on the back here of all the different uh, materials that this particular company manufactures. The one I've got is a PLA on the top. It gives you the temperature, which is between 190 to 220 for your uh, hot end. Now, it's saying here you don't require any bed heating, because uh, it's PLA. Uh, I will be using a bit of bed heat. We've got over the side here, you know, print speed is recommended between 40 to 100 millimetres per second, and the tolerances is 0 0.02 millimetres for the filament. So, yeah, we'll uh, open it up and have a bit of a look at it. I wonder if we slide through there, if I can get my thumb through it. No, no, oh yes, 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 there it goes. Oh, come on, open box, open. Very exciting, isn't it, looking at this. Okay, and that's how it comes. Put the little silica gel in there. Yeah, nicely, uh, nicely sealed. And uh, I've just opened it out of the vacuum seal. It's a black, it's uh, glossy, it's actually uh, not too bad, it's quite nicely packaged. It looks like it's a nice wind. We'll soon find out as I uh, print the uh, temperature tower, but I'm not printing any ordinary temperature tower. I'm actually going to design one in Blender. Okay, one thing I've noticed is how smooth um, the Camel or Gold Camel Black is compared to the eSun PLA Plus that I've been using. It's uh, quite amazing. You can definitely feel a difference when you slide your fingers along it. Um, I've actually run my wonderful little trusty, uh, almost accurate, <laughs> give or take. Um, oh, where are you? I've got to get him right. Ah, so hard. It's 1.7. It's 1.7. Very, very consistent, the whole, the whole length. And here we are. We have a plucking test. And I'm very careful in how I said that. Now, let's go. You can hear there's a higher frequency on the lower piece to the top piece. The bottom one, that is Gold Camel, the black. The other one is the E-Sun PLA Plus. So there is definitely a difference in the um, strength of them, or hardness, or bendability, or whatever you want to call it. Um, the Gold Camel is definitely a firmer filament. Okay, here we go. I've printed out a temperature tower and uh, strangely enough it's in gold camel black. Now the tower itself, I did a tutorial which you can actually see um, in the link below. It's actually on how to make a, your own temperature tower. This one I've got in my hand, I've actually modified it uh, quite a bit from the, the original. I've uh, put on one side here, I've got little bumps, and or little bumps I should say, squares and uh, and little circles and uh, the other side I've actually put some uh, C3 triangles. It has an advantage that if you hold it sort of side on and look through the the actual tower itself you'll notice it's stringing all the way and then all of a sudden it just stops. You've got um, loose layers in there and then it stops. It stops at this mark here which is the 210 mark. Let's see if I can get that into a bit better. So 210 the separation of the uh, plastic stops, stringing starts above it. So 210 is the optimum temperature for this particular filament. And uh, as I said, I'm quite uh, quite impressed with it. Um, it's not too bad. And uh, you pick it up from Gearbest. I'll have a link below if you're interested in, in picking it up for yourself. But uh, yeah, and as I say, if you're interested in the G-code for this particular tower, just let me know and I'm more than happy to send you a link to um, download it and the G code rather than the STL file is because I've got all the temperatures preset for you so you don't have to do it yourself and uh, yeah it should print out fairly quickly and hopefully uh, aid your selection for temperature for your particular filament that you're using thanks for watching